Financial Literacy brought to you by NTV, PwC and DFCU Bank. Trying to know how much do you need and to do what and do you clearly understand the project? Because the question is this, if you're coming to sell to me an idea, if you don't understand it, why should I give you money? You come to sell me an idea and I'm asking you, okay, I ask you a few questions about your business plan. Yes, you want to sell what? Goats, okay. Goats, yeah. And do you have a market? Uh, we are thinking that, uh, you see, immediately to me that is a red flag because you don't understand what you're doing. So if you decide to go into a project, and even Warren Buffett says that before you go into anything, understand it. If you can't understand it, you're wasting your money. And the funny thing is what he says is that when he's analyzing opportunities, he has the smallest bulk of papers here, a smaller, a bigger one, and the largest here. Where the smallest is where he wants to put money, the, the, the slightly bigger one is where he thinks there's something here, but the biggest of them all is where he thinks I don't understand this, I will not put money there. So when you go meet a financier, you need to be articulate and know all your things and the project inside out. Because if you end up getting a question that you cannot answer, there's no way he'll give you money. And you remember I told you, think these things twofold. If you're the one who is analyzing an opportunity, somebody has brought a, piece, a business plan and they're telling your chama we need funding. This is something else you need to check to. Ask a few questions, find out about what they're doing. All those questions, then you engage if they're serious about it. Because I cannot give you money to do what you don't understand, but you're selling to me that you very well understand it. So this is very key. You need to understand that. Is the project viable, the future you're proposing? Because you might be selling an idea that will be obsolete two, 10 years from now. We are together. For example, you're telling me to partner with you in a business that is, for example, doing newspapers. That business, unless something else happens, it's a business that is slowly becoming obsolete as people have access to what? Mobile phones. So if you're busy there selling me and telling me and offering me a very beautiful story about how I can own a, a section of a newspaper, I'll tell you, I don't care. Go and sell it to somebody else. Because even if I buy it from you, I'll have a problem selling it to somebody. So as you approach a financier, these are questions you need to ask yourself. What is the future of this business? Do I see it growing? Is it a business that my next door neighbor will start or is it a business my, the 10 people close to me? I, I come to your bank and I want to tell you, uh, give me money to start a, a mobile selling shop. I want to buy stock and come and sell phones here. My next door 10 neighbors are selling the same phones. It doesn't make sense. Then you come to me and tell me, why don't you buy some equity stake so that I can buy stock? I'll tell you no. Because I can see there is no future in this business. So make sure before you approach any financier, this is something you can proper, properly articulate to them, that this business has an opportunity to expand. And 10 years, 5 years from now, I see it being this way. Because if you bring a proposal to me for funding, I don't care how beautiful the project is. I'll ask you, 5 years from now, how do you see it? You'll tell me ABCD, 10 years from now. Then you start telling me, 10 years, I think after the first year, we'll see how we can. Red flag, I won't offer you any funding. So you need to know your things inside out before you go there. You'd rather have the three people who understand it, who are not even necessarily officials, going to meet the financier. Financial literacy was brought to you by NTV, PwC, and DFCU Bank. DFCU Bank is regulated by the Central Bank of Uganda.